Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to set up the standing script. As you can see here I've already inserted the model itself, but first what we need to do before we do anything here is go to workspace over here and make sure that filtering enabled is on, otherwise the script will not work. And after that we can open up the standing script and have a look in the standings UI here. And as you can see in here there's this thing called the mod list. So what the mod list does, it, it gives certain people the ability to start a race, start a qualifying session or use flags. So what you want to do in here is give certain people that ability. As you can see over here, here's a list of players that can use the flag system and, or the control panel as I'm going to call it for the rest of this video. So what I'm going to do here right now is write my own username right here and then fill in another name. So this is just an example on how to add another name to the list. You separate the names with a comma and make sure that you write the names between the double quotation marks. Then we move on to this bit over here. Not only can you add a list of people who can access the control panel, you can also have certain ranks from a group have access to the control panel. And that is what this bit does over here. So as you can see, there's one long number and one shorter number over here. So this first number you see over here is a group ID and every group on Roblox has one ID. So what you want to do here is get the group ID of your group. So how you do that? You go to your group page and then check the URL on the top of your browser. And then you should see a link that looks like this here. And if you look inside the link, you see a string of numbers over here similar to those over here. And this is the group ID you need. So what you want to do is you copy this number and you paste it over here, overwriting what is previously there. You can only have one group ID at the time, unlike the mods list over here. So then we move on to the second number. So this number over here is a group rank number and it is associated with a rank that is in your group. Every rank in a Roblox group has a number associated with it. And to figure out what number you need here, you need to go to your group admin page. So I'm going to put a screenshot on the screen right now showing you what that admin page looks like. And in my case, I want to give the officials and all the ranks that, that are above it access to the control panel. So what I want to do is look what number belongs to the officials rank, which in my case is 200. And then I go ahead to back to the script and write down 200. And there we go. Now we have people who can use a control panel and also high ranks of your group who can use a control panel. And that's basically all you have to do. You don't have or you cannot actually change any of the names over here, otherwise it might break the script. And you also don't have to move anything else. So that's it. Uh, one more thing you need to make sure in order to make the standing script work is to have a lap counter in your game. In my case, I've got my timing system over here, but could also be another script that just counts laps whenever someone crosses a line. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.